honestly, I prefer to study alone first. But if let's say that I have a very solid understanding of a topic, it's actually honestly better to discuss in a group, especially in an MCQ style format. Because um, in an MCQ style format, everybody would be discussing general knowledge. We go to the very niche, the very uh, specific parts and we can bounce back to the very basic concepts too if one of our group members don't understand so but obviously you need to have a very solid understanding to get the most of those kind of uh, meetings and stuff usually my study method is i tend to prefer to study by myself when it comes to trying to learn things trying to understand a new concept solely because um i understand my own pace um, because obviously everyone has a different study pace so I would prefer to study on my own for that reason. But of course, when it comes to exchanging information, trying to recall certain specific information, then of course, um, try to engage in a group study, try to discuss things with your friends, which, you know, that would be a lot more fun and also it could be more helpful. I find myself studying most of the time in my room. If I get really, really bored of my room, I, I'll go to uh, the laundry area or I will go to the James Joyce Library on campus. And other than that, uh, I do go to study spaces on campus, which are, I tell you, it's a there are hidden gems in campus where people don't go to study there, but it's actually a great place to study. So I would usually study at home, especially since, like I said, it's because of the pandemic right now. However, I would need some air if I'm home way too long. So sometimes I would actually find myself studying at the park. On a day-to-day -day basis, I would have several allocated study sessions across the day. So one would usually be in the morning if there are no scheduled classes. And then the other one would be usually after classes. That would be a short one, just to wrap up what the lecturer has said um, and to tidy up my notes. And then um, at night, usually would be after dinner, probably a two to three hour study session, depending on the workload that I have, as well as my state of mind, of course. I find myself studying four to five hours a day on average. But uh, to be honest, I don't really uh, time myself on how many hours I spend studying in a day. Rather, I keep a checklist on how many tasks I complete in a day. I think I get more things done that way. What works for me is keeping up with the lectures uh, week by week so that I don't have a ton of lectures to go through during the exams. Uh, also, looking at past year questions is very helpful in uh, helping me to know what to expect and seeing how uh, questions are structured and it also helps to guide me on what to study. As for the practical exams, I would uh, watch demo vi videos on YouTube as well as practice with my friends. I would do space repetition when it comes uh, closer and closer to its exam, so that's how I prepare. And then I will just go through, so that's to say there are 30 lectures in one module. So um, I would space out those lectures and just do them maybe two weeks, three weeks before the lectures, just so that I get to do a lot of repetition and I get to wrap my head around the whole idea. And when it comes to the questions and the exams, I get to see the correlation between the question and the answers as well as understand the whole concept of everything. especially medical textbooks, is from the UC Online Library where they have the digitalized version uh, which is one, cost-effective and two, you can bring it anywhere you want. I also um, keep a lookout for announcements from lecturers. For example, just uh, at the start of the semester, I had my renal biology lecturer who very kindly listed down, you know, um, really helpful resources. And one of them, I've been, one of them was a 3D um, anatomy model, which I've been looking for, um, like since the start of my term, because most of the ones, most of the apps available, the 3D anatomy models are actually quite expensive so and this one was free of cost and um, you know this is provided by UCD itself so it's really really crucial for you to um, look out for lecturers reach out to lecturers because they would know out of all the years of experience which resource is reliable and um, accurate 
I would usually search it up online and across many, many different website resources and articles. However, if it is to no avail, I would approach my lecturers and professors to help or um, confirm the validity of these facts that I've learned. What matters is that you make the effort to learn all these new concepts and of course ask your lecturers and professors to help you. They're always so willing to help.